To move women forward, the financial security program at Aspen is taking a deep look at the financial lives of families, what their challenges are, what the risks are, and how their decisions are influenced by the policies and the products that are available to them. We know a lot about economic health and well-being and what drives it in this country, but when we start having a conversation, we tend to default to a conversation about income. And income, while incredibly important, is really just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to economic inequality in this country. So we know the statistic that uh, women make 78 cents on the dollar uh, for every dollar that a man makes. But wealth inequality uh, dwarfs that number. Uh, for women in this country, uh, we have 32 cents that we own compared to a dollar for every, uh, of wealth for every man. And the reason that's important is because it's wealth, what we know from economic well-being studies now, that really is that driver of financial well-being. It helps you have resilience in the face of economic shocks. It's that number that gives you a baseline to choose mobility in the future. You can invest in your kid's tutor or summer school. Uh, half of households in America now are led by women, either single women or divorced or widowed. And so when there is no financial cushion, uh, there is no long-term mobility for those households. And I would say the other thing to note is that that 32 cents on the dollar number is the bright side. When you actually look at households of color and women in communities of color, African-American women's median wealth in this country is $100. And the median wealth of Latino women is about the same. Uh, when you look at single parent households, that number is zero. So there's absolutely no financial cushion and no choice for those households. The financial security program with many partners in industry and in communities and policy care about the ability for these women to have voice and choice uh, through financial products and services and policies that will empower us all.